Yeah, man, you know what we're doing. We're back in the building. Try Coast Radio. It's another good one. This is Thursday. I'm in the building with Noriega. Put some respect on that chef, Noriega. You already know. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me like you know what's going on, man. You know what it is? Try Coast Radio, number one in the streets. Just the hype hour, man. Noriega, welcome to the show, man. What's popping with you? Man, well, first and foremost, thank you for having me on here, you know what I'm saying? All the listeners, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check out Chef Noriega. That is Chef, like the cook, Noriega, like the dictator. Um, also, buy my clothes if you're watching live, you know what I'm saying? Clan Clan Apparel with C's, no case. you know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm just honored to be here, you know? We got a lot of cool topics we're going to get into, so yeah, you know, y'all going to see the character. <laughs> So, man, tell them, uh, where, 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 you, where you from? Uh, you know, originally from Chicago. Moved to Chicago Heights when I was, like, five. And then, uh, moved down to Texas after school. But I'm originally, you know, from Chicago, Windy City. Chi-Town. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chirac. Uh, not Chirac. We from Chi-Town. I get, a, I get a lot of music, man. And they tell me every time they, uh, when they, every time they jump in, you know what I'm saying, it's Chirac. I got to uh, go, go yeah, back and look yeah. at my list. We just got some music <laughs> last week uh, from some chicks, you know what I'm saying? And she yeah. said, every time she said where she was from, she said the rack yeah, she for the rack. Nah, she nah. put the rack, man. See, now nah, I say I'm from Chicago. I like I like, I like, like my city. I know it's a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying, violence and stuff going on and stuff. And uh, it took away from a lot of good things the city could have had. I'm not going to say it didn't bring any good because, I mean, you, I mean, we obviously see a lot of good things that came from that, but, um, you know, I'm not one, as I'm getting older, to really, like, you know, glorify right. like, violence and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. I'm, I'm trying to live my I think topic. as us being some older, older cats that's uh, really sort of doing some of this, we don't, yeah. we, it, it's redundant and we get tired of it. it yeah, I know some... <laughs> I know some of us, we're just automatically just shunning when they come on, like, ah, gunplay. Let's make sure that, you know what I'm saying, all the guns that all y'all got out there, you know what I'm saying, when the revolution pop off. <laughs> when the purge happen. If you, when the purge happen, <laughs> you front line, you know what I'm saying? Don't be behind no doors, you know what I'm saying? I feel you on that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure y'all come outside, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and be able to shoot straight. <laughs> Baby, the shoot straight. That's the real one, you know what I'm saying? Being able to, you know, shoot straight. Handle that, you know? yeah. Make sure, make sure you got your paperwork, too. That, that, that's one, too. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that's yours so they can't take it from you. We need all, we're going to need all the guns we can have, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't got no guns. You ain't got no, I, I'm late getting one. I, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I ain't going to tell them how many I got, but I ain't got as many as I should have. We're gonna need to get you a gun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're we gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Unless you're gonna yeah. put some hot sauce in that motherfucker and shoot it. Hey, you know, dad bleach. You never know. Something, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than one way to scare the cat, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Uh, coming from Chicago, you know what I'm saying? What brought you uh, to Texas and where you landed in now? Man, honestly, I had, when I first moved down here, I went to Austin. Because okay. I went to uh, what, South by Southwest. And Couldn't leave. Well, you know, I I wanted to go to UT when I went to school, but okay. um, that was in the Bush era. You know, I'm I grew up up north, so okay. they like, yeah, nah, you ain't going to no Texas. That's what George Bush them at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when I moved down here, you know, he definitely made sure his fellow Texans were okay. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. When I moved down here, I was like, damn, it's sweet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's good. So you know, I signed that lease. Uh, Dipped out at the end of the year, so I wouldn't have to pay taxes in multiple states. Little did I know, Texas don't have no state tax. I love that. You know, anybody that's listening that's not in Texas, bring your ass out here. There ain't no state tax. You don't catch a little more money in your pocket each check. You get yeah. used to it real quick. Yeah. Um, but after that, you know, uh, went to Houston. Um, you know, chasing, uh, not chasing, but you know, I had a shorty. She had followed me down to Texas, and okay. then, you know, my job situation went a little rocky, uh, so, you know, I moved out to Houston, because that's where she was at, and then, you know, about a year and a half ago, I had got a job offer I couldn't refuse, it was 
a good lump sum amount of money different. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's when I became a cowboy. Cowboy. <laughs> it left the Texas and became a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, Dallas been good. It's been showing the love. So you sound uh, like a nomad. A nomad. No, nah, so never nomad. I gotta have four walls, bro. Okay. Nomad. Well, ain't well, not necessarily, you know what I'm saying, a complete nomad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying you living in the streets. Mm-hmm. You don't look like you live in the streets and shit, but, but you you don't mind moving around. I got another good friend, yeah. man, he's a dope artist, Arkansas Bo. Mm-hmm. And that motherfucker's a nomad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He he'll go where wherever the wind blows. He'll he, and plant he'll plant roots and don't mind pulling them up. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I hate I saw Haiti move around like that, but it don't it, it don't be bad, but it really spread his music too, man. So I feel you on that. Yeah, like, for sure. So so far you being the Cowboys working out for you. Man, you know, the Cowboys is working for me. They showing the love, they paying that bread. My bad I had to pull that live up, you know, yeah, on the for stream, sure. trying to find a way to place the stream. Oh, uh, the thinking man usually hit on this that may that may hold you. Yeah, it's, it's it's right there. But for sure. um you know, no, no, that, that was been cool. It's definitely, you know, I, I, when living in the major cities in, in Texas, it definitely have its own vibe. Got to feel different you know flavors. I, I definitely love some Dallas women. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to the Dallas women. <laughs> shout out to the Dallas women, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, shout, out to the, shout, shout out to the Dallas Fort Worth women. Yeah, yeah, you, know you got to come Dallas, over here. DFW, DFW. DFW, DFW, DFW they get them all. Yeah. I gotta be, I gotta be uh, politically correct. You yeah, know, get them out. Here in the work, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I, I ride with four words. Yeah, yeah, get them out. Get them out. You know? Get them out. Uh, the the influence of your music, you know what I'm saying? Let's uh, where's some of that come from? And, and, and Man. so it might be controversial because uh, so a lot of the people I really listen to or that influence a lot of my music are controversial topics right now. Um, but, you know, it's my influences. So, for starters, you know, being from Chicago, uh, obviously it was a, a lot of uh, Kanye influence. Okay. Um, and just me being in the arts, you know, he played a big role. Uh, but I really grew up listening to a lot of Lupe Fiasco. So, uh, Lupe, man, my yeah. wife know his brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, he come by here and buy sweets and shit. Shout out, shout out, Huggy Bear, man. <laughs> Huggy Bear, man. Huggy Bear, I'm waiting on my, I'm waiting on my kick push interview. He always tell me, yeah, man, my brother coming to town. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to holler at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get him over there. You know what I'm saying? Let me get y'all linked up or something. He here just chilling. Right. He tell me that two weeks later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After he gone and shit. Mm-hmm. I be like, Huggy, why you didn't call me while he was here? I seen the fucking picture on, 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 yeah. on Facebook and shit. Oh, bro, I forgot. <laughs> I like, okay. Hey, I know, I, I know, I'm not gonna forget, man. You know, I'm gonna stop by as many times as I can, but you know, huggy, man. man. Um, but after that, uh, you know, a lot of uh, after the Kanye influence kind of wore off a little bit because he had some projects coming out that kind of didn't fit with my beliefs at the time and it was kind of conflicting to listen to it it was also around the time I started really diving into conspiracy theories and stuff so it was just like man just trying to develop your own thoughts on somebody Mm -hmm. versus like with the masses putting out it it was a time where you know I had to take a pause and you know build my own Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying Uh, after that you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I told you, it's going to get controversial, but, uh, you know, Tory Lanez played a big role um, in my musical sound. Uh, when I first heard him, I, it, it was, my voice was hot. You know what I'm saying? You could hear, I don't got a deep, I don't got a deep ass voice. Mm-hmm. Before, most of the singers, you know what I'm saying, like, their voices wasn't hot, but they wasn't, they wasn't deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he was... His he made it, he made it, he made it comfortable. Yeah, I was like, well, shit, you know, his voice... For the right. light voice to Yeah, me. you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, all right, cool. I kind of got somebody who sound like a rat, too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, we both sounded like Fievel on the track. It's all good. You know, um, then, you know, we keep, we keep moving on a little, moving along a little bit. Then we got to one of, like, the main... What I would say was my main uh, influence, where I really learned a lot, and that was Travis Scott. Okay. When I found out about Travis Scott, uh, I found out a lot about producing 
um, ways to manipulate my voice, etc. And then after that, I reached a point where I was just like, yo, I got my own sound now. Mm -hmm. um, it's influenced by a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Those are, I would say, the three major influences on like major shifts in my sound. Um, outside of that, now it's just when I learn new techniques, that's part of my sound now. But Yeah, um, trying them out. Yeah, because I mean, you know, when you first learning how to do it, like first learning how to make, you know, all aspects of what you're trying to do, you mimic what actually made you start doing it. Mm -hmm. So now as I know a little bit more, a couple more techniques on engineering, you know what I'm saying, I, I need to sit with some chief engineers, any chief engineers out there, right, get your boy up, you know what I'm saying, if y'all need an a internship, an intern. I'm, not, yeah, I'm not doing no unpaid internship, I'm grown now. Like, I'm what, you, what, what you going to change for? That's not an internship then. It's an apprenticeship, you know what I'm saying, it's huh? <laughs> an apprenticeship. <laughs> you don't get paid for apprenticeships either. Some do, some do. But How? I I've never heard of a free apprenticeship. I said, I thought that's what apprenticeship, no, no not a free, you're right, not a free, because like when you're apprentice, if you're, if you're an electrician or something, you, you, you get paid, you know what I'm yeah, saying, for sure. You still done the front work. Not an way, intern. You know, yeah, the yes, intern. The intern, the intern. <laughs> he, he, he there on his own dime. Tricoast the radio, man, it's the hype hour, man. Shout out, shout out to Will Wright, you all send him a boy, Shane hey, Michael. Rabbi Sensei, you already know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out, Rabbi, shout out, Easy. Cloud man. McGee, what's up with it, man? It's your boy, Big Grip, man. You know, we're here on a Thursday night, getting it in with the hype hour, you know what I'm saying? Some of the hottest rising indie artists, you know what I'm saying, from coast to coast, and right here out of my backyard, man, it's Chef Noriega. We in we got some of his music. Uh, where I heard some music from. Turn that music down. Uh, Yeah, the phone line's wide open, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can holler at the chef, you know what I'm saying? See, where the chef come, where the, where the park going? You be chopping up beats, chopping up... Uh, so, I actually, I didn't make my rap name up. Okay, where it come like, from? I was, I was in Spanish class. Uh, it was sophomore year, 2010. Before that, uh, my homie Easy, he actually taught me how to rap. My homie Lil Easy, Lil mm -hmm. Easy, Easy, however, uh, you know, y'all want to call him. But that's my right hand, man. We started, we started, uh... Studio with the Skype mic, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, with the Skype mic. Say, man, everybody first studio was, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Struggle. Yeah. <laughs> it's the struggle studio. Skype mic with the sock on it, like, <laughs> getting it done. <laughs> you know, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, we were in Spanish class, and uh, my name at that was like Young Ion or something, some whack ass. It just didn't fit, bro. Like, it didn't fit, but I couldn't think of no rap name. Like, hella people gave it to me. So, then we was um, in class, and... Get that shirt my, button. My bro was like, yeah. He, like, I was rapping, and he kept saying, Chef Noriega. Like, kept playing around. I'm like, bro, you quit calling me that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who is that? That ain't my name. So, then, like, he's like, nah, look, look him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, look up, <clears throat> look up. Noriega, like the dictator, and then Noriega, like, uh, like Nori. Mm -hmm. So I looked up both of them, and I was like, okay, they both two cool-ass dudes, you know, I, I, I think I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna run with the chef Noriega, and I just, I, I never look back. I got another name I might switch to if, if, you know, it gets to the point where legally and, uh, monetarily wise, it's better to switch the name, but we're not gonna discuss that. For sure, there, yeah, you know sure, sure. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna discuss it when we get back, because I, I thought of it already. This one right here, what's the name of this song called? Robin Hood? Yeah, it's Robin Hood. Wake no. up, Rob, Robin Hood, you know what I'm saying? Get you some stocks. Shout out Rabbi Sensei, you know what I'm saying? Sending me 12 packs on the beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.
for these hoes and it's not for the users. Make to the code and control it and move it up. Only been time to get known as my dude. So slow with the ruler, but slow with computers. Fans watching, gotta know the maneuver. Chicken nigga, 44 for intruders. This hollow ain't empty, it's for your medulla. Money making like I'm bitch in the flesh. Live as nigga, bitches love me to death. Gotta be fainted just to fuck with me next. Record labels gotta cut me a check. Ever since I played the bitch, been involved with the same nigga. Yeah, man, you know what it is? Short Coast Radio, brand new music from my boy, Chef Noriego. That's Robin Hood featuring, who is that you just see? Went on the big hub. That's featuring on my bro, Hub. You know, he out here in Dallas, too. You know what I'm saying? He over there representing the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? So we got, we got the, we got Chicago, H-Town, Maryland. Yeah. We got a little triangle, you know what I'm saying, down there going on. You know what I'm saying? Triple threat. That's how I go. That's how it go. You're supposed to reach out, you know what I'm saying, make them connections, you know what I'm saying? And that's how, that's how you expand yourself, right off the rip. Yeah, so, that's I, a good I, one. I just like working, man. I, I, like, I, like, I like working. What, what, what made your motivation to go in there and create? So, so it sounds like you got, you, got, you got a home set up. You got a home studio where you going to bang your beats out and shit? Or you go to a studio somewhere? I, and I got a home studio. I like to record at home. It's it's more comfortable. So you just get up to and you can create whatever time you want to. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I, I learned a lot of techniques that when I go to a real studio to finish it up, it, the, the, it, I ain't never had a problem with engineering. Yeah, yeah. Just because it's like I, I can explain what I'm trying to do. Right. If I don't know how to do it myself, and then most of the time my stuff already formatted, so it's really, it, it's like you don't, as an engineer, because I'm, I'm an engineer too from time to time, you don't got to do no surgery. And that's like, that'll save you so much bread. Like, for all the artists out there, as long as the engineer don't got to do surgery, like, you, you you can work some deals out, you know what I'm saying? It's, exactly. You know, like... Save them some time. Like, always. Close, close. Yeah. Going at, going at done. You know what I'm saying? Mouse Quake just said the other day, he liked, you know, he, 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 he liked when, you know what I'm saying, he... He asked somebody for the track house. Mm -hmm. They got everything they got, you know what I'm saying? But when people come in there and they they bring them the wrong shit, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It's going to cost mind. you. Yeah. It's going to cost you. But <clears throat> I ain't go to school for eight years because I don't want to do surgery. So, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to do no surgery, bro. Like, nah, like, you know. So, man, I'm, I'm going to ask you, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I got to. Uh, 
I've been asking everybody to come through just mm -hmm. these times that we in. We're in a pandemic. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it's been mad hard. You know what I'm saying? Shows been shut down mm -hmm. and just different shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody been stuck inside the house a little bit more. So that's that's what everybody mm -hmm. doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Create, creating in the crib. You know what I'm saying? Using everything, everything going. It was going to TikTok and Snap and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that, we steady got to look. And tonight, uh, I think I'm missing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the presidential debate. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You thought about you thought about voting or going to vote? Uh, yeah, the circus, bro. The circus. You're watching the circus. The bro. shit show. The circus, man. Like, uh, I'm definitely voting. Have I done my research yet? No. Um, mm -hmm. I am gonna do my research though, cause I'm an avid believer. Of if you don't know why you voting for somebody outside of like what your homies and everybody done said, you don't really need to vote. Um, you know, outside of like, you know, when we had to put Obama in the house, that was different. You know, we was trying to make history that time. Ain't Chicago. No, yeah, ain't no, ain't no history being made right now. You Chicago. Got, you got one person that got some money that's not, you know, offering a bunch of favors. And then you got another person that if they get in the house, they got a whole lot of favors they're going to have to do for everybody <laughs> that helped them get in the house before they can do the things that we actually saw them talking about. Right. During the election, primaries, etc. I agree with that. Um, I go with that a little bit. You know, I uh, I shout out my homie Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? He watching right now. What's up he, with homie? Uh, yeah, that's my that's my that's my mentee right there. You know what I'm saying? He actually surpassed me in the engineering. It's mm -hmm. crazy. You know, that was a couple years ago, he didn't know how to engineer shit. He was yelling at me like, "Why well, I need to learn how to engineer?" And uh, now he's better than me. Put me on the gotta get that sound on, man. That sound gotta be A1, you know what I'm saying, for them to want to play it on terrestrial radio. It's a blessing, it's a blessing. But back to the election, though. Um, make sure y'all go vote. If you haven't uh, registered to vote, it's too late, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Make sure if you, if you didn't have to re register, make sure you go out there and vote. Uh, I can't tell you who to vote for. I really don't care who you vote for as long as you make a, a educated decision. But just know that, um, it's power in your vote, and with the times we in right now, you know what I'm saying, like definitely um, don't vote insensitively. Know that we have people that are the face of things that you might support, the face of things that you might not support, and we all at them, we all at that age now where regardless to who in the house, it's going to affect us within that four-year span at some point. Your pockets is going to get hit. So if you vote for anything, if, you, if you're if you not paying attention to nothing else, y'all really need to look into the policies they're trying to pass that's going to directly affect your pockets. You know what I'm saying? How are we going to get You got to you gotta try to figure out is. which who, which, which which side and who is doing that. Because if you sit there and watch the commercials or look them up on... Look at the look at the YouTube channels. Or it's they, they, they they all one one say M J Haygard is it, it's gonna take our medical and then uh, John Cornyn say you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying he, he he for keeping our medical you know what I'm saying for mm -hmm. people with pre existing disease you don't know which mm -hmm. one you know what I'm saying the, the, but the biggest part is outside of the presidential election they can't do nothing all that shit works from the bottom up. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing, you know what I'm saying, our votes do count, you know what I'm saying? But we got to think about voting from the bottom up, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, that that's local, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that, that's voting the fucking railroad commissioner, mm -hmm. 